Dave and Angie here at one of my favorite places, Angie. We're at H&H &H Shooting Sports Complex, basically I-40 and Meridian in Oklahoma City. That's right. They actually have a shootout coming up, and Dave and I just had our own DNA shootout. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun. We're here with Miles, who is the owner and president. He's going to kick out that. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so tell us about the shootout coming up. Well, it's the first one we've ever done together quite like this. It's going to be what's called a blind single elimination match. And we're doing it by brackets so that you can come in and you'll start in either firearms or archery. And then each level gets a little more complicated, a lot more fun, until we get down and select a final winner, which will be known as a hot shot. Oh. Okay, so archery? Archery, there are, four, there are three divisions in archery for, for youth, one for women, and then an open division. Then on the gun side, there's an open division and a division for women. Very nice. Very yeah, nice. it's going to be a lot of fun. I know. It. Entry is open right now. The competition yes. begins August 8th. But right. tell us more about the entry. Right. Then go, then go online. That's the simplest way to do it. Is go to okay. online to our website, which is hhshootingsports.com. And, and then they can find it right there and fill it out and, and, and be able to get in. And, and, and it's going to be awesome. The way the brackets will work is once you lose, there's actually consolation prizes. Winner moves on, and then the consolation will, will be whoever uh, is eliminated, wow. and then we move on to the next level. So all got... the finals are going to be done on the 20th. That's going to be the big day when all the final stuff is going to be done. And we have some very fun, creative things that are going to be done, both on archery as well as on the gun side for the shooters. This obviously right here is a pretty fancy bow. Mm -hmm. Well, this to give you an idea what some of the competitors will be using, yes, this is one, and, and then of course the juniors use smaller bows and, and so forth, so, but, but you know, it, it's pretty neat, it's just, you know, looks like a car I used to have in school, <laughs> full, full of all kinds of stuff, so. Yes, yes, now uh, Dave and I actually had our own little shootout. This is a uh, Ruger Mark III, uh, one of their current target models, adjustable sights, heavy barrel, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, shot a couple different handguns and a rifle. <laughs> oh, nice. What we learned from NASCAR. You're not cheating, you're just not trying. Hang on to that for me just a second. Yay! And here's the deal. She reshuffled the rest of them. I guarantee you she's going to hold on to this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably sign her name. <laughs> All luck right there. Every one of them luck. Mm -hmm. And then we shot uh, with the bow and arrow. What you're going to want to do is put this knuckle on your jawbone right under your ear huh. when you draw back. This, yep. was, this, was, this was a lot tougher than people think, well, at least than I thought. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I feel like it does. It takes a lot of skill. Yep, it does. You know, it's, it's interesting. Shooting, one of the reasons the Olympics came back in the late 1800s was to hold a worldwide shooting contest. That's why it's the first medal given. And archery was just a natural transition into that. And it is not as easy. I mean, there's a lot of people who think, oh, I can do that until they get ready to get started, you know. This is actually a compound bow. Once you actually pull it back, there comes a point where you guys found it. This kind of, you can hold it there. It's good teaching from Mal right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but learned. in long bows, like in the Olympics, if it's a 60 pound bow, it's 60 pounds from beginning to end, and that's what they have to do. In the, in the Olympics, for example, the winning score in archery, uh, the best possible score is a 1500. The winner, the gold medal, will be a 1470. Wow. In shooting, where 600 will typically be the best score in shooting, the winning score will be a 599. And as we discovered, Dave mm -hmm. would get that perfect score. He's got this natural ability. He's kind of freak. Here's, here's <laughs> the deal. And one thing that should be emphasized here, not the freak part, yeah. but, <laughs> is that Miles has very good instructors here, both Will over yes. in the shooting range mm -hmm. and Al here in the archery range. We stepped into this basically not knowing what we're right. doing. And by the end of it, successfully hitting some targets. So instruction is something mm -hmm. you guys provide here actually that's part of our that was part of what got us started was actually teaching besides having a place to come and shoot yeah. it was actually to educate and teach and that's our biggest pride. now we sell lots of stuff today and we're happy to do that but but our real goal is all in educating and teaching and h and h stands for hers and his because my wife outshoots me shouldn't it be his and hers should be it's not it sort of sucks we don't talk about that often though <laughs> it's hers and his because she's a better shooter she's a said. better shooter wow, yeah. look at that. Now, in this it's case, really not funny. it's shooting. really not funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the H&H &H Shootout yes. uh, begins August 8th. Be sure to go to their website and uh, submit your entry and get involved. Yeah, and anybody can, anybody can compete. This is not just, you know, for 
for the people who think, oh, you got to be really good. No, this is a fun tournament. We wanted this to be a good time for everybody. And, and the people who, who devised up all the deals, they've got some creative stuff. It's going to be a hoot. Nice, right? nice. Thank you so yes. much. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. You did great. I'm proud of you. <laughs>